Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay God. In today's video, we're gonna focus on how to make your weapons look like they have no recoil. A lot of times people leave comments on my video, especially when I do gameplay breakdowns of top tier players, regardless if they're on PC or controller, people say, man, the guy's gotta be cheating, He's using wall hacks, Cronus Max, all this nonsense. But a lot of times those are just comments from very low skilled players, or they just don't quite understand how to control the recoil. So we're gonna be taking a look at it for controller and mouse and keyboard and look at the difference. And this is an M4 without any attachments. So pretty much we're gonna be shooting at the wall. You kind of see how it looks. So what ends up happening with the M4 is if we shoot against the wall, we get a general recoil pattern. We're gonna compare this from various weapons and we're gonna explain what you need to do so it makes it look like your weapons have no recoil. Some of the more popular weapons that are used have lower recoil than average. And the ones that are a little bit harder to control are to use left often just because it's a lot of work to actually manage recoil. So I go ahead and shoot this. You kind of see it goes up for about half the magazine. So it's about 15 bullets and then it goes diagonally to the right, 15 bullets. If I want to control this on console, what I need to do is hold down the trigger and hold down on this right analog stick. So you can see I'm kind of going to pull down. I have control freaks that tends to help. Uh, you can run a lower sensitivity if you're really struggling with that and the control and the precision. But what's going to happen is I can actually hold down the trigger. And then what I'm trying to do is you can see it kind of started veering to the right. But I'm going to try and do is mimic this recoil pattern, go down for about 15 bullets and then kind of go diagonally to the left. Obviously, once you start equipping attachments, it's going to make it a little bit more of a challenge. But when you're just aiming directly at a wall, there's no aim assist on controller when you're pointing at a wall. Obviously, when you're going up against someone, it's going to make it a little bit easier and it's going to help guide you onto the target or slow down your sensitivity as it gets closer to the player. So it's pretty much all you got to do. Aim down and then hold to the left. That's the first one. You can see how kind of tight the spread is. There's no aim assist there. The other thing you can do is hold it for about 15 seconds. You're going to see me hold the trigger and then I'm going to release the trigger um, after that. So hold down, release and hold down and pretty much ends up being a fairly tight recoil pattern. If we go ahead and uh, repeat this, let's go ahead and switch out to keyboard and mouse. I don't even use a keyboard and mouse and we're going to see the same process works out pretty easily. But let's say I'm shooting here and I just hold the mouse steady. It does the exact same recoil pattern that we just saw up and to the right. So regardless if you're on keyboard and mouse, it's going to do the same thing. Pretty much on keyboard and mouse, all I'm going to do is continue to aim exactly where I want it to go, down and to the left. And pretty much straightforward, nothing crazy there. And you're going to do this same exact thing with other weapons. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and switch our loadouts, some of the other weapons. So this is just with the M4. That's how you're going to get no recoil on the M4. You just literally counter it. I mean, it's the same recoil pattern. You use the weapon long enough. It's going to be fairly easy to counter that that without any attachments. That is, obviously, the further the range gets, the bounce just gets a little bit more magnified. So let's go ahead and take a look at another weapon here. We're going to go ahead and swap this out for, let's say, the Odin. The Odin has way more recoil up, um, and it has a little bit of spacing. So this is what we're going to kind of focus on. So right here, you can see these individual dots. We're looking at these individual like hit markers all the way in the wall. You see that they're pretty much all connected and all touching. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the Odin. And you'll see exactly how much recoil it has. So pretty much in line with this wall. I'll shoot this brick here. I'll line it up with that brick there. And then I'm going to pull the trigger and you can see the spacing. There's actual noticeable gaps. There's a slower fire rate. So this gun ends up being way less forgiving. If you miss some bullets here and you're not able to hit them, especially at range, it's going to feel like it's kicking significantly more. All I got to do in this case, if I'm trying to control the recoil on this weapon, is mostly down and it'll kind of hold itself together. Doesn't mean it's easy. The fire rate is slow, so you're able to course correct it. But at range, a lot of times you're not able to see those bullets. Like the M13, for example, you literally see it beam. Same exact thing. Let's go over here options we're going to go back to making our controller the keyboard and mouse same thing here so now i'm going to strafe over all i got to do is aim point i don't even use keyboard and mouse and i'm able to get a relatively tight spread obviously you on keyboard and mouse pretty straightforward you aim click and the more time i would spend on this this isn't even a, a proper keyboard and mouse that you would use. This is a $20 keyboard and mouse that you get at Walmart. So we can look at the same concept for the growl, which is a very another very popular weapon that's used. 
and one of the reasons you'll see pretty easily why why it's so popular so let's go ahead and fire the weapon and we'll get a generic recoil pattern I'm not adjusting for any kind of recoil there and then pretty much you can see how tight the spread is the key with the weapons is the be the lower the recoil isn't necessarily how far this thing moves if it was just about how far it moved then the weapons would be treated a little bit differently it's really about the spacing obviously when these impact they're creating a little bit of a crater but if we compare that with the odin that we just saw where there's clearly gaps um, and the fire rate plays into that so in this particular case you can see that pretty much all of these are touching all the way up and what that means is you're able to make those course corrections as it does that you can see where your bullets are traveling and it really is just going to come down to you managing those individual things so let's go ahead and try and control this recoil and then i'm going to go ahead and swap to controller so pretty much all i'm going to do is continue pulling down and pretty much that's all you need to do so just hold down and there it is nice little tight bullet spread let's go ahead and swap that out options let's go back to controller and all i got to do is hold down the trigger adjust for that and there it is you can see it's a little bit more a little bit bouncy but obviously that could change depending on i do it 10 times it's probably gonna look but you can see how tight that one is and i'm not even a keyboard and mouse guy that's just stupid easy tight control and that's what you got to look at with a lot of these weapons i'm going to just hold the trigger i can hold it down you don't need to do any kind of burst firing burst firing helps with your recoil management as well if people are further ranges it kind of recenters on itself and makes it really easy um obviously if you're shooting you're not going to adjust for it it's going to continue to go up that means i only got one mag left but you can see it goes up and to the right and pretty much all the weapons are always going to have the exact same recoil pattern i've gone over this and different burst firing techniques and different things like that and it's just a matter of being able to monitor this and there's people like man how's your shot so clean how, how do you how do you not miss and i'm like i miss tons of shots i mean i fire a 60 round mag i'm down in one player at uh, like 150 meters obviously i'm missing shots because it only requires 15. so there's another thing that i, I gotta tell you explain which is not necessarily obvious for most players and that is recoil that is visual recoil not actual recoil so what i mean by that is i'm going to shoot this wall again right and i'm just going to spam the trigger as fast as i can and look at where the bullet spread is all of them are damn near in the same spot so what that tells you is you think this weapon has an insane recoil. Even if I go further back, I'm going to aim a little bit lower right here. So without any adjusting, look at how close they are. It went boom, 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 boom. So there is a little bit of a recoil pattern as we get a little bit further out. But keep in mind, look at how much the weapon actually moves. So there's some times where it ends up happening where the weapon looks like it has an insane, ridiculous amount of recoil. But literally all the bullets go to the exact same spot. So sometimes that's why you're like, man, I swear it feels like it's easier to control. Sometimes suppressors do that. It gives you the feeling as though it's less visual recoil. But in reality, like the recoil is not actually changing. But in your mind, it's like, oh man, the gun moves less. It's easier to hit my shots. So there's a lot of times I play with it. Uh, it's a very good habit to get into is once you kind of find a setup that you like, maybe experiment and you're going to be able to make those adjustments to see where it is. The reason why I bring this up, this is a gulag weapon, right? When you go to Warzone, you go in the gulag. And if you're trying to adjust for this recoil, you're going to end up missing your target completely. So as long as you keep in mind that wherever the center of your screen is, that's where this bullet's going, you're going to be able to hit those individual shots. So I want to focus on those key elements that I think a lot of times people struggle with. That's how you can get a lot of your weapons looking like they have no recoil because guaranteed you use any of the high recoil weapons. I'll give you an examples of what low recoil are. So just looking at the rifles as an example, low recoil, kilo, Foul is fairly low recoil, but since it's semi-auto, it does have a little bit of a kick. M4, fairly low recoil. FAMAS, it kind of has a weird recoil pattern, not really kind of in line with anything else. We got the Odin, high recoil, even though it's primarily vertical, there is spacing between each of them. M13, also very low recoil, goes up and to the right. All the bullets are fairly pretty much touching um, because it has like a 900 RPM, which is incredibly high when it comes to the rifle category. It's faster than a lot of the SMGs. 
Also, when it comes to the SCAR, high recoil. AK, high recoil. RAM, relatively low recoil in terms of actually how close the thing are together. But because it has a fire rate that is incredibly high, it could be a little bit tricky to control, especially since it goes up and to the left. And then we got the growl, which as we saw, it looks like it has a lot of recoil, but since the bullets are basically touching, you end up with the low recoil weapon. And that is the tutorial for how to make it look like you have no recoil within Warzone. Hopefully you did find the video helpful. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you're brand new, looking to find your way back for whatever reason, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.